As an engineer, what puzzles me is why ancient people built with stones weighing hundreds of tons when they could have broke them down to smaller, more manageable pieces the way we do. Why the painstaking polygonal masonry with seamless, mortarless joints? It's as if these structures were designed to withstand earthquakes and tsunamis. What compelled ancient people, who according to the consensus were learning how to farm, to divert their attention to becoming master architects and erect cyclopean structures just for ceremony. Big symmetric pyramids are exceedingly hard to build. So is carving, dressing, and moving giant stones. Such effort devoted to ceremonial structures by people just learning to create a sustainable society doesn't add up. Living as dirt farmers while building amazing but otherwise useless temples to the dead is not how societies prioritize resources. Agriculture without technology requires immense human resource. For example, colonial America utilized 95% of the population for agriculture to keep up with its needs, leaving only 5% to work on everything else, including ceremonial structures. We have many examples of early societies that focus colossal resources on agriculture, like the Pueblo culture in central Arizona who built such extensive networks of reservoirs and aqueducts to irrigate the desert that we still follow their plan today. And the Romans who built roads, cities, and aqueducts connecting a continent-wide empire. These societies allocated far more resources on utility solutions than on ceremonial claptrap. It reasons the ancients would focus resources on practical structures that paid dividends in higher productivity rather than pure ceremony, because that is what we do. We spend the vast majority of our resources to build plants, mines, factories, dams, roads, sewage, and clean water systems, and a small amount on cemeteries, churches, and monuments. The reason is obvious. It's necessary. And why would not the same be true in ancient times? Many independent thinking theorists have pointed to the industrial look of megaliths and proposed a greater functional purpose that tangibly benefited society, including power generation, water pumping, and wireless communication. These ideas have merit because they are use cases that would benefit a growing agricultural society to the degree worthy of the expense. 